y'all today is may may 3rd i think 2019 how you guys doing how you living <laughs> doing well that was my sister I just told her that I lost two pounds this week I'm excited y'all when I tell you it has been it has been a struggle to get this extra weight off so we are exactly we are exactly a month from my next fitting so we had to do no adjustments for my first dress fitting um, the dress fit like perfectly um, in my size so I didn't have to do any alterations to it um, so I ordered the dress in the size like usually they tell you to order a size up but I love the fact that um, the place where I got it they're very like you know whatever you want to do you know what I'm saying so they're like you know if you think you're gonna gain weight or you want some wiggle room order a size up but if you think you'll say about the same or lose a little then just order the size the stock size and that's what I did um, and so um, my dress came in I tried it for the first time it fit like a glove um, just like the um, the try on the sample whatever from the floor uh, but of course I want a little bit more room in the dress and you know you just want to look your best you know what I mean so um, I am um, working on lo losing some weight. I mean, I need to lo lose weight anyway, y'all. I feel like since I've been home and, you know, eating this eating this hardcore Haitian food, you know, it's caused me to gain weight. So, um, I need to work on that. So, that's what I'm working on now. Also, drinking plenty of water. Wedding update. Had the cake tasting this past weekend. <laughs> met with the photographer this past weekend and um, today I'm gonna get everything squared away with the cake the other thing that I'm going to do is um, oh a lot of the decor items came in um, the ones that my friend bought for me so they're in uh, the dining room I I'll show you guys those in a minute and then um, I have to make another payment to the designer today and then what else I saw an email y'all I just be seeing email notifications I just don't be opening them if I know they're about the wedding when I'm working that's it's work days and then when I'm off it's time to focus on the wedding that's the way I've been keeping it so that I don't get overwhelmed so I saw an email from the the video booth guy and um, I don't know what he's asking about because he got his deposit and he does not supposed to get the rest of his money till day of so I don't know what he needs but we will I'll check that email once I get home for now we are headed to let me switch to my phone guys let me tell you what Joshua did Joshua got me this nice um, mount for my phone so that I can vlog um, on my phone by the way guys I'm we're in my new car I don't know if, have I told you guys y'all so much has been happening right um, but it's crazy when they say that crazy things will start to happen closer to your wedding day I mean life just happens right um, I my car so this is my um, car that I bought recently and then my old car is might be stolen I don't know cuz yeah both y'all I'm not even gonna focus on that right now I'm looking for it I called the, pol uh, the, the state police the city I called the city um, and no one has it no one knows where it is so I'm, I'm gonna probably if I can't locate it today I'm gonna report it stolen yeah y'all anyway so Joshua got me this nice mount so I can put my phone up and so we can vlog from the phone and so that's what I'm gonna do so I am headed to the uh, grocery store to get some stamps because I am sending out the final um, what do you call it um, wedding invitations ooh is hopping a little bit wait a minute I sent a bunch at the beginning of the week and so I'm gonna send out the rest of them today and then um, what we're doing is we're doing paper invitation for our formal invitations and our like you know seasoned family members right and then or family members and friends and then we're sending out um, 
uh, digital invitations for um, our you know younger more tech savvy uh, group I don't even want to say younger because some of the people in the tech savvy um, category are older folks so um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out the rest of the paper invitations today. And then also send out all of the digital invitations as well to everyone so everyone can start RSVPing so I can start coming up with a number and stuff like that. So I am hoping that people RSVT, RSVP in a timely manner um, and um, I can get a good count by the end of the month even though it's really not due to the end of next month. And that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna come home and then I'm gonna clean um, and then work on wedding stuff. That's what today, um, it's Friday by the way y'all. Happy Friday. Uh, it's Friday so that's what my Friday is going to be like. This weekend, I'm gonna be working this weekend. I work Saturday night um, and Sunday night. So it's not gonna be like, you know, a busy fun weekend. Um, I should have took you guys along with me last weekend. Y'all would have loved it. It was Alice's birthday last weekend. If you follow me on Instagram, y'all saw it fun. And it was a good time. We did the Sugar Factory. We went to this Haitian restaurant out here called Giselle's. And Giselle's had a, um, a local um, compa band um, named Local. One of our friends um, plays the bass for that group. And so we went and we supported. We came out. So that was really fun. They also had a, like a DJ, DJ session as well. Saw some people that I haven't seen in a minute. Okay, a minute. Joshua came. Brian was there. My cousin, Alicia and File, and then my friend from work, Valerie, uh, who's Haitian, also came out. So it was a really good time. It was a really good time. And then we did brunch in D.C. on Sunday. So it was really nice. Um, but this weekend is not going to be like that. This weekend, Joshua is coming. He'll be here tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm, I made it to the grocery store. See how quick that is? It's literally, like, just a few minutes away from the house. Oh, there's a mess behind me. But y'all be all right. Okay, so I made it home and put my groceries away. I cooked, but now I'm covered in wedding things in boxes, y'all this is so much um as i'm opening everything i'm just so overwhelmed so one of my bridesmaids and good friend um decided to purchase at least um i want to say half of the things on my decor list and um i'm so excited about it so i want to share with you a few of the things um that she purchased for me she purchased these um glass votives that I votives that I needed um, and um, I have nine of them here and so either we're gonna do like water with floating candles or something of the sort or just a uh, candle all the way at the the bottom of it um, so she bought me nine I needed 18 of these um, at least but I wanted them different sizes so she bought all of the nine inch ones and I think I want to buy the 13 the super tall ones as well so I'm gonna need some more of those she also got these um card holders they're from David Tutera I don't know if you guys are familiar with him and his show his wedding show so he has his own like wedding product line and so they're like you know you can use them as um place cards with people's names and what table that they're going to or escort cards and um so i have um they're 24 in a box and i have one two three four five six boxes of that and i have this lantern i don't want to pick it up but this lantern right here she bought me tons of like candle holders and y'all um, so many things so oh and this right here these are tea light holders I don't know if you guys I want to show you guys let me see let me see if you guys can Oop, duh, 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 duh. 
Can you guys see that? You put the tea light in the middle of these and they're like little wooden um, tea light holders. Okay, so they match um, the card holders as well. That's just a few of the things. She bought me so much. So I'm going to try to make sense of everything. And like my room is slowly being taken over by wedding makes. And um, I want to see if I can organize all of this so that I can still have s order somewhat. <laughs> It's Today funny. is um, Sunday, May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo, actually. Anybody having margaritas tonight? Are you working? Are you working tonight? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Um, so we are actually headed off to Pat's wedding venue site. So it's really exciting because it's the first time that um, myself, my mother, and my father are going to be able to see it because we haven't been able to see it yet. Um, it's hard getting us all three nurses on one schedule so um, mm. um i felt that too during my wedding stuff and trying to get everybody coordinated when people work days and nights we figured it out we got a sunday where we're all somewhat offish <laughs> even, though <laughs> and, <we're not. laughs> even though we're really not because pat has to go to work tonight my mom's gonna go to work tonight as well um but thankfully i don't um so we're gonna see it um it's are, are we just touring you know just so that we have an idea of um what things are gonna look like, how things are gonna be put together the day of. So it's just a really exciting time. Um, what is Joshua doing? I thought he was coming today. Uh, yeah, he's headed up probably right now. Um, so I'll be over here tonight. Okay. Yeah, so um, do you have a countdown on your phone? You're supposed to be saying how many days left until oh, the wedding. Yeah? Oh, no, I don't you know. even know. No, I really just don't even know. That's sad, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we're gonna work on getting her a countdown, um, but it's not that much longer. What up, y'all? So your girl is headed to work. It is still Sunday, so it's my parents to the venue, and um, they were not fans of it. They were not fans of the venue. So advice to you guys who are engaged to be married to be married and you're planning a wedding it is so important um, that you know you make your choices and you're happy with them and you stand firm by them it really helps let me tell you guys and not everyone can be in a position in this position but it really helps for you to be able to be uh, financially independent at the point of the time that you get married so that you can make these sort of decisions for yourself and um, and be happy in them. So, you know, um, my mom and I have very different uh, tastes and um, so she, you know, um, she's like a, in, my, in my eyes a typical Haitian they they she, let me not categorize everyone but she likes gaudy things um and stuff like that and another thing that I realized about my mother is unlike my sister and I we're we can see the vision you know you give us an empty room and we'll make something out of it my mom really needs the full picture and so um I didn't choose a full picture uh, type of venue so let me share with you guys um, a little bit about my wedding so my wedding um, theme is called um, rustic romance I ideally I would have loved a barn wedding like to a venue where I could have my, at least my reception in a barn or um, on an estate of some sort with a colonial home style wedding that has a lot of land that gives you sort of the farm vibe or um, a vineyard this is what I was looking for all of my venues that I saw except for one was no 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 all of them I, I just remember that was like colonial home style estate all of them had that same vibe this venue has colonial home it's on a farm it's also a uh, winery a running winery 
Um, and so there is a barn on the property. Um, but I chose not to get married there because um, the barn is super rustic. I mean, you know, we just moved the cars, the cows out before you came in, you know, type of rustic. It's very woody, um, very like cow boy boots under my wedding dress type of barn. And that's not what I was looking for. Um, because again, my um, wedding theme is rustic romance. Um, and more so on the romantic side with touches of that rustic edge. So the barn wasn't good, but I like the fact that it's on the property because it sort of adds to the feel. Also on the property is a ballroom where the reception will take place. The ceremony will take place um, right outside the ballroom. And then there's like an inside outside cocktail area. It's beautiful. It's up in the mountains, very isolated, a lot of land, great, great backdrop. So many photo ops, so many photo ops. You have the vineyards, take pictures of the vineyards. There is the pergola, there is a waterfall, there's all the mountains, there's the colonial home, there is a smokehouse for the guys where they can do, it's like a traditional smokehouse, I guess they used to have back in the day, where the guys can do cigars and stuff the morning of should they choose to I'm not let not you know over the plans or whatever he could do what it do this last um, weekend as a single man don't bother me so I love my venue um, my fiance loves uh, the venue it was the second venue that we saw out of all of the ones that we saw I'm gonna do a separate video on like my venue and why I chose there's so many other reasons you know, I'll name a few now. Um, that the venue has an in-house caterer, which helps to minimize the amount of vendors that I have. Because the caterer works solely with our venue. They know the venue inside and out. They know the rooms. They know the best ways to serve, depending on the, the style, whether it's plated, buffet. They know this venue inside and out and will not be asking me questions or anybody in my family questions because they know the venue. Um, so that was really important to me. I don't have to rent any furniture. All of the Shivari chairs come with uh, renting the property. Um, and so all that is included in one price. Um, so just, just to give you like, you know, some of the things that I was thinking about when I decided to go with my venue. So people can't decide for you what works for your pocket and people definitely can't decide for you what you like. You know what I'm saying? And so we just have different tastes and my sister ran into the same issue with my mother but once she saw everything come together she was just like, oh my gosh, such a beautiful wedding, blah, blah, blah. And she all was singing the praises afterwards, y'all. Singing the praises. But during the process, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't that. My sister got married. Now, y'all seen the pictures on Instagram, I'm sure. Or maybe you guys didn't get, like, to see it really well. But my sister got married on, um, like, an estate, like a mansion, an old mansion. Um, and there was an outdoor, like, waterfall, pond area that had a pergola. She got married um, outside there. And then inside the mansion itself was a reception area so hers really had that old maryland like you know vibe that old american vibe to it um and so they utilized the home like the cocktail hour was in the actual home Hours were not, the home was only utilized for the bridal party and getting ready. Outside of that, the home is not utilized at all, besides aesthetics, for the actual wedding. So, um, so she ran into similar issues with my mother, who 
prayed about the wedding afterwards, so. What up, y'all? So I'm finally headed to church. I had to stop by the post office to drop off an order. You guys know that Alice and I own a business together. Uh, the company's called Graceful Med Boutique and we are a medical apparel company. We also provide life and career coaching to medical professionals um, servicing um, nurses in particular. So, um, headed to church now and um, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. It's a little cloudy today, so that's not good. Um, I don't prefer cloudy days, but it's what it is. Um, at least it's warm. So, headed to church today. Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. Happy belated Mother's Day to all y'all because you guys will see this after Mother's Day. So um, I'm headed in to work. Um, had, a, had a good weekend though. Um, babe is here and um, so we, um, we had like a little impromptu date night last night. We were just sitting on the couch chilling and after you know a bit I was like man I'm hungry and um, so we decided to go out and get something to eat and talk and stuff like that so that was nice um then um today was month is mother's day but my mother is fasting this week actually so we couldn't take her out to eat so babe and i just woke up early to um get her some flowers uh balloons um and uh, i got her a gift card uh, to macy's she loves macy's um, and so, yeah, that was our little Mother's Day this morning. We chatted and, um, sat down for a little bit. When she came home from work, she worked last night, um, sat down, you know, chit-chatted and that was it. So we're taking a rain check on the, the meal. So we were going to do breakfast today, but whenever we do it, whenever we eventually take her out, it could be lunch, it could be dinner, whatever. So... Oh my gosh, is this traffic? So I have to tell you guys something. I'm, I'm getting ready for work. And um, I am running behind. Um, and this is just not good that there's traffic right now. But I was running behind. And um, I completely forgot that I needed to stop for gas. Like it's not, it didn't even occur to me that my car was low on gas the day before um, that I would need to stop for gas in order for me to make it to work so as I'm saying um goodbye to Joshua um you know he's like hey I stopped by um the gas station and I took your car to the gas station I put some gas in it so you wouldn't have to stop um you wouldn't have to stop uh for gas on the way to work and I was like oh my gosh I completely forgot that I was low on gas I would have been dumb late for work had I needed you know had I um had to stop for gas oh my goodness guys I was so grateful in that moment you know what I'm saying that someone thinks of you that way like you know what I mean like uh, I'm just he's, he's just so thoughtful you know but um yeah so I didn't have to stop for gas on the way to work but um hopefully I'm still not according to the GPS I still should be at work on time I just won't be early um but I don't know, I don't know if it already had accounted for this traffic that's here for absolutely no reason. So guys, let's, let's have a little talk, okay? I feel like we need to talk, okay? Um, you know, earlier in this week, I, I shared with you guys my whole experience of going back to the venue. And um, 
sort of my parents reaction to the venue and um, you know you have to be confident in the decisions that you make in your life and I've always been that way to be honest even as a kid I remember my sister and I call it we create these PowerPoint um, PowerPoint uh, um, presentations um, on pros and cons of why we want to do things that's, how, that's the kind of kids we were um, now we had a you know Haitian parents that didn't always go over well but I mean not real PowerPoint conversation uh, presentation but we made sort of um, educated decisions we on decisions that we reflected on you know and um, presented to our parents it's always, it's always it's always been like that and as an adult that it made me a good decision maker and it made me very confident in the decisions because after I've weighed the options after I've prayed come to a conclusion and I stick with it but sometimes when you're in a vulnerable position like i.e. planning for a wedding because you just so you just de so desperately want everything to go well you so desperately want um you know things to look nice and you know as a as a woman you 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 dream about this moment for so long and you want it to be everything you've ever dreamed of right and everything you've ever wanted you want it to be for me i want it to be timeless i want to look back on my pictures and think oh wow this is this is beautiful you know um but so you ended entering this in this in this vulnerable place where you know people can get to you and you have to you have to be careful and guard your heart I actually did a video on this it's gonna come up on my um, my other channel motivational video and um, yeah you have to guard your heart and not let people's um, you know opinions and um, and I don't mean to throw my parents under the bus because I mean they don't like the venue but you know there's other things that they like and, and whatnot but in general when you're dealing with a, you know a wedding and multiple people everyone has their say so everyone has their opinions of what they would like um, you know for you to do and um, or what they envision for you but you have to realize this is your life to live um, and that no one else is gonna live it no one's gonna live it for you and so you have to sit in the, the the results of your decisions and if you choose to um, choose someone else's dream for you over your uh, your dream for you you have to live with that they don't have to live with it you have to live with it and a lot of times that leaves a lot of resentment and a lot of regret uh, because of what you because you decided to choose someone else's uh, choice over yours and also a lot of resentment for that person and so no one wins no one wins no one wins and so um, and a lot of times you, you go around and you circle back and you do the thing that you wanted to do anyway it was like why didn't you do the thing that you wanted to do in the beginning in the beginning that way you had to waste all that time you know what I mean anyway y'all um, that's my little message, my little tip for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm going to try, try, try to bring the vlogs back bi-weekly. And then after I get married, hopefully I'll bring them back weekly to you guys, okay? So um, I really miss it. You know, I go back and it's funny because um, Joshua goes back and, and he watches the vlogs from way back. And um, so he'll, he'll tell me like, oh, I watched vlog number 125 today whatever and then I'll go back and watch it and see like well, well let me see what was the vlogs 125 you know um so and I go back and watch it and it makes me miss vlogging my sister mix, misses the vlogs and yeah and I, I want to bring it back to you guys and and you guys enjoy them as well so I, I, I I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be more consistent with with them we're gonna start every two weeks and then eventually every week so yeah guys i got my um iced coffee i made some ice coffee. oh it's i don't think it's cold enough i'm probably gonna have to add some more ice to it mm. Ooh, that's nice i did a good job with that yeah i'm trying to make my coffee at home rather than um buy coffee now because a it's expensive and um b they put so much sugar in the coffee y'all know i'm trying to I'm trying to do better for this wedding um, I fit in my dress, which is great, um, but it it could fit better. You just want to look good. I want it to be, it's it's definitely snug. I want it to be comfortable. So I'm trying to watch it, y'all. I'm trying to watch it, y'all. So um, 
not down enough. I'd love to be down another five pounds before my second fitting. And my second fitting is um, in three weeks. I don't think I can do it. I think I can do it. Let's work on that. Anyway, y'all, I love y'all so, so, so much. And I will see you guys next time in another video. And as always, God bless.